Hello everyone. Today's video is more snacks. This time provided by a website called Munchpack, which is a subscription service that sends you delicious food every month. What type of delicious food? I don't know yet. But they offered to send me a box to show you all. So I said yes. And I'm excited to see what's inside. So let's get started. There's the little Munch pack guy. And we have, oh, awesome. We have a little sticker that says Munch pack. Perfect. It says, Hola, adventurous eater. This Munch pack was made with lots of love by Anthony. Enjoy. And then it has what's in your munch pack. And it has a app you can download. I assume you scan the barcode on your snack and it tells you a little bit about what you're eating. It says you scan the barcode. You can save your favorites you can purchase more and you can leave reviews. That's awesome. I like that feature. So let's see what we got. Ooh, we have some drinks and some snacks. We have some hot sauce flavored potato chips, Texas peat, nice and spicy. We have something sweet, a giant C-A-P-L-I-C-O. It looks Japanese and it looks like it's a Ice cream cone shaped sweet dessert. Probably chocolate and other stuff. We have some Takis. I've had some of these in another box. But these are zombie ones. Habanero and cucumber tortilla chips. They look like they're very green. And anything spicy is right up my alley. So that looks really good. And it's a nice full size bag too. That's always good. We have Chewitz. Looks like it's a British candy. It has a British URL on it. Fruit salad flavored chewets. Another sweet. Awesome. Swinkles Classico. No. Classicos. I'm not sure what these are. Maybe it's some kind of licorice. I will have to try these out. It looks like it's written in Spanish. So it may be from Mexico, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to scan the barcode and find out. 
And of course, no snack box would he be complete without Pocky. This looks like it is pumpkin flavored, possibly, or ghost flavored. Mm -hmm. It's a cute little maze on the back. So, looks like we have apples and pumpkins. Sounds like a nice flavor. Maybe it's pumpkin spice and apple cinnamon spice together, finally. We have a Honey Stinger Lemon Waffle that looks very delicious and crunchy. I like the little logo here, of a, like a hornet or a bee with a red shirt on and gloves. <laughs> Sticking with the lemon theme. We have honey, lemon, lemon china, lemon gina. It's a French lemonade. Born in France, bottled in Japan. So. That sounds delicious. We have cream colon. I'm choosing to pronounce that as colon and not another way. And let's see. It looks like it's just cream filled little pretzels seems delicious as well. And then this looks like it is a peanut wafer cake called Zido. Sweets Plus Plus. I don't know where this is from. It has multiple languages on the back. So maybe it's Zido kind of sounds Greek, but I could be completely wrong on that. And then finally we have another little kit creation dessert. Looks like it's some chocolate pudding and some green tea powder. And you make these little wafer discs and create your own dessert. I think I've had something very similar to this before. It says basically it's chocolate and mochi. And there's the instructions on how you do it. Basically these little discs come dry and you put water on them and let them absorb the water and they become sticky like mochi. So I like the variety of this pack, not only from different countries around the world, but also some sweet, some tangy, some savory, some spicy. Variety is the spice of life. So, you get quite a lot in one box, plus our lemonade here. And I will put a link in the description that will take you straight to Munchpack, so you can explore some of this on your own if you'd want. Right now, I'm going to try a few of these things and do a little taste test. Mm. 
And I'm very curious about the habanero and cucumber tortilla chips. I will always go for savory first before sweet. Maybe because I was taught to save my dessert to last. see in there, but they are very, very green. They are rolled up like Takis are. Let's see what they taste like. They don't blow you away with heat, so they're not super spicy. Yeah, they have a nice, they're not too salty. I don't know that they taste exactly like cucumber. If you asked me to taste this and tell you what flavor it was, I would not guess cucumber. And the corn flavor is very strong. Yeah, actually has a pretty subtle flavor. But not a bad one. But for zombie chips, you'd think they would have a little more oomph to them, maybe. Well, let's see how the hot sauce chips are. I'm getting a little bit of the heat in the back of my throat now from those. They're not bad. Okay, so here we have your basic potato chip. Very lightly spiced. Okay. Need some of the tanginess of the hot sauce. It's a good balance, but it's basically a potato chip first. So oftentimes, especially in America, the chip merely becomes a delivery device for loads and loads of over salty powder, sometimes to great effect and sometimes to really overpowering effect. This is a much more subtle, just a basic potato chip with a little bit of flavoring on it. So you get to enjoy the potato chip. Yeah, I like it. It's very good. I like those a little bit more than the Takis. These are just, maybe because the flavor is trying to be so unusual, it's really hard to place it as tasting like anything in particular. Okay. 
Well, let's wash this down with some lemonade. Okay, has a little bit of carbonation to it. Hmm, that's nice. Nice balanced lemon flavor. Just a little bit of honey, which is a nice sweetness instead of just overpowering pure sugar. Honey adds a little bit to it. Okay, let's try these. These look really interesting. Here we got. We're a little busted up, but yeah. Hmm. That's nice. Say um like a cream filled. So these are really good. A nice crunchy exterior and a nice soft cream filling, which the crunchy exterior does not get in the way of the flavor of the cream, so it's really nice. Or it's more of just a good texture. pumpkin flavored. Ooh, very bright yellow. It's good. It's not a traditional pumpkin spice like we would think. But it's a nice pumpkin flavor. Okay, I love Pucky. Hope you've enjoyed this from Munch Pack. I certainly have, and look forward to enjoying it some more. So, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description on how to get your own Munch Pack. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I will see you in my next video.